Okay, we are on with my main man, James, who is running these incredible performing semi-glutide campaigns. Now, if you want to sell semi-glutide and you want to maybe look at the derivatives of this, which is that you're bringing in an unlimited amount of patients based off of your ad spend. I mean, this is unprecedented things that we're experiencing now. And I, I can't believe how quickly these get running. So James, tell us about, we'll go through a couple of examples. Tell us about this first one we're looking at. What we're looking at here is Instant Rejuvenate. They're located in Santa Ana, California, a very busy area for this product. Uh, this particular client came on. She was running ads uh, on her own, lead ads, Facebook lead ads. But, you know, typically with Facebook lead ads, quality is a little low. So they brought us on board. They wanted to keep the lead ads. They liked the volume because that's what you get with lead ads. You get volume. So they took us on, but we helped clean up the quality. The targeting is where they lacked, right? right? So that's where we kind of jumped in, um, did a lot of exclusionary targeting. That was the issue with her. She was targeting a lot of areas that just were not potential candidates for this service. So we went in there and kind of cleaned it up, right? Now she launched this on March 3rd, uh, about three weeks ago, three and a half weeks ago. Since she started, she's received 233 leads at $5 a lead. Right. Yeah. So she is and they are booking about every eight to ten of these they're putting in the books. Right. Getting them on the books. So she so has a real their conversion rates. Let's get into this. Their conversion rates probably around 15 percent. Approximately. Sure. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Right. Makes right. sense because when you run lead ads, you should expect like, a, you know, one, as you just said, like one out of ten, two out of ten, somewhere Correct. around there. Right. Correct. Yeah. A lot of people just kick in the tires. Sometimes the way that lead ads are set up, they accidentally you know, their button, their finger hits it <laughs> and it sends yeah. it off. But that said, she's not only booking at 15%, but she's closing that 15%. You know, out of that 15%, she's closing a good 70 to 80% of those people. Right. Once they get through the door. So the issue that she initially had with the quality of the leads, that is no longer existent. Right. And they're, that's why they like lead ads. I like the number of leads. And then they take the leads that do not sign up or, you know, book a, at the moment. And they're just remarketing them. So it's not wasted, right? Eventually, they'll probably pull in another 10, 15% of the people that weren't ready right now. Right. So she's doing fantastic. Like I said, she's in Santa Ana, California. So let's so let's just do some quick math here. So we so someone watching this goes, what does this mean in dollars, right? Mm -hmm. So we if we take the, the 233 leads and we say 15% conversion, which is around one out of two out of 10, roughly, whatever. Right. Yep. Um, one out of 10 to what somewhere around there. And that's about average for Facebook on this type of material at five bucks a lead is pretty good deal. Going to end up with 34 patient opportunities of the 34 patient opportunities. You close 70%, which is a very conservative number, uh, which is from the low end. You end up with about 25 patients from that. Mm -hmm. If you look at the average duration for a patient, they're roughly about six months. If they're running a $500 or a $400, somewhere around that nature, usually you know, our average return or for our clients, their average return is about $2,400 per patient uh, of revenue per patient on semi-glutide for the first six months. All in, you're getting around $60,000 for a $1,200 spend um, of revenue. And of course, I know that doesn't include costs, but your average acquisition cost minus this is going to be around, let's just say a 50% margin, given the fact that that's where the most of these uh, med spas operate at with their costs. So basically your, your return on ad spend after net costs are, is around $30,000. So are people willing to put in $1,200 to get about a $30,000 net return? That's the question in this particular model. So let's move on to the next. We'll move on to the next. Well, that was California. We're going to travel down to sunny Florida. Now, this is Facial Mania. They're kind of a uh, franchise set up. Right. Uh, a couple of locations. I'm going to show you their Coral Gables location. Right. Now, they're using landing pages. So compared to what we were doing in Santa Ana, they want to get a little bit more quality. Right. They don't want right. to. They, they, and they, they started a couple of weeks before the Santa Ana campaign. Right. But they still got a nice amount of leads of uh, 116 leads 
you know, in the first six and a half, seven weeks at right. 41 at $41 a lead. Now right. they're closing at a higher rate. They're not Facebook lead, lead ads. They're closing Correct. more at, at, you know, 30 percent. Right. Somewhere right. around at 25, 30 percent, maybe 35, depending on what, you know, the week and the competition. Right. But they're closing at a high rate um, and they're doing great, too. So, they, you know, it's, it's it's two two sides of the coin there with the lead ads, you know, he- heavy, low number of leads. This still a good amount of leads, a little higher cost per lead, but higher booking rate. Right. So, so, so the difference is now we're at 30 percent. So I think we're going to end up with some of the similar math. Right. Yeah. So if so, if we do this. Uh, in, let's just take the 336 or, or or 336 leads. We'll just average it out like you have here, right? If we if we do some very simple math again, if we look at what what this represents, so 336 uh, patients, you know, times 30 percent, uh, you end up with what 100 or so patients, right? So that's that's sort of like the mm-hmm. general general average. Yep. Right, or six, hundred six six thousand, about approximately six thousand total spend on that number of leads. Right, right, yep. right, and, and I get you. So we're ending up with a hundred and twelve patients out of this amount of money. Again, and now let's say they come in, we'll do the same thing—a seventy percent closure rate. So we're we are at um, 0.7. We're at seventy-eight patients. Uh, times of an, an average of twenty four hundred per revenue, so we're at one hundred and eighty eight thousand dollars for an inbound of uh, sixteen thousand. So, I, and so if we times that by 0. 0.5, we end up with about ninety four thousand dollars for sixty net net revenue minus costs. We're at ninety four thousand dollars of uh, of uh, if, at a fifty percent margin, ninety four thousand dollars for sixteen thousand dollars spent. Which is about the same thing we ran into before. If we did the the number balance between the two, which is that we did a thousand for uh, roughly thirty thousand dollars of net margin revenue, and now we're doing uh, sixteen thousand for ninety or so thousand dollars of revenue. We're we're seeing these similar equations come out, which is that we're ending up in that sort of um, eleven to one ratio ish of. Uh, our return on ad spend. Next. Now, key key thing here, Matt, what you're also leaving out is the speed in which this is happening. This Correct. Is, this is six weeks we're talking about. It, effectively, five weeks with, since the ads have been optimized and running. So you're talking, you're you know, you're basically adding up both of those campaigns between both clients. That's a five week period that you just all those numbers you just laid out there. That's the first five weeks. And we're seeing this with all the semi glutide campaigns. They go up fast. They go up quick. Return comes in pretty pretty fast. It's key. A yeah. Big part of the selling point. And one thing I think people should realize that they're listening to us right now is that we haven't found borders yet. And, and that's something, you know, usually with Facebook ads with cool sculpting, M sculpt, Botox or laser hair or skin tightening. Like there's a, there's a plane where it goes down. Yes. Right. There's that, a, there's a diminishing marginal return. If you hit a market and you say, Hey, we've, we've hit a certain thing. We haven't hit that. And I, I'm still stymied by people who don't recognize that this is a unique situation, that it's the only time in history we've run ads where there hasn't been um, a period of, of unbalancing at the very top end, you know? And now, so you these first two campaigns we were looking at here, they're spending, you know, 100 plus a day, you know, a little variation between each one of them, 130, right. 115. I want to show you one from Kentucky here. Um, let me get into there. So we have now somebody spending about 83 a day, 2000 a month, not a big ad spend, not a big, those, those two first clients really came at it hard because they understand the power of what they're selling. Right. This particular client came in, he's spending, you know, per, he's got multiple locations. So he's spending about $50 a location, $1,500 a location. Right. Yeah. And he just started this a week and a half ago. And this is what I mean by speed. And in the first eight days, we're looking at 26 leads at $37 a lead again. And in the first eight, nine days, the conversion rates are similar to the one spending 150 a day. You know what I'm saying? Instead of 50 a day. So, yeah, it, 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 every campaign we've been running so far, you want to spend big. It works great. You want to spend smaller. It works great. This particular it's about the product 
with this with yeah. these campaigns. It's it really is as long as you understand the targeting of Facebook, you know, because you are doing a weight loss, you are you know doing a weight loss campaign. There are some restrictions, community guidelines. You have to follow them, otherwise you will get banned. But as long as and we know it, and we understand that. As long as you understand that, you target these correctly. Right now, like you said, there are no borders. There's no ceiling. There's no there's no stop yet. We, we keep going and it's working Correct. on all but and it's working on all budgets, small budgets, medium budgets, big budgets. It's all there. Right. And but, so this this one down in Louisville or Lexington or wherever the, the location is looking mm -hmm. at the results. And again, just being on for a couple of weeks here and, and picking up 26 um, leads. Uh, is this on uh, a landing page or is this on a, a, a lead ad only? This is a landing page. Yeah. So the, the, say, qu the quality is high on this one, higher right. than you would get from lead ads. So absolutely. Yeah. yeah so one out of three, you know, in this particular case with lead ads, which is probably about right. Um, so let's just do this do quick math. In the last three weeks, 37 times uh, point th uh, about three, you're getting a. So they picked up a, uh, 11 patients times uh, 2,400, uh, $26,000 of $900 of revenue. And again, I'm, we're going to end up with the same number, which is we're going to be an 11 to 1 ratio. I think that's the number that's coming out of this. So if we divide that times 0.10, we end up with 13,200. So this one's actually doing a little bit better. It's not uh, even, and, and just to clarify, you said a few weeks. This is a week, Matt. This is a oh, week. Okay, so, so, yeah, a week. so, <laughs> so, so you stay there. They're, they're, they're all in spend to the, to, at the moment is not, it's under $1,000. Yeah. You know, they're, they're yeah, just... that's, this is 13 to one return on ad spend after expenses. So I, I think yep. that's kind of an interesting model that, you know, the 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 reality here is that there, you know, there's an entire industry that can be mined right now. It's almost like we're we're the shovels and the picks right now and that all the clients have to do is just go out and start, you know, digging. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 you know, like we said, with the first one we had started with uh, instant rejuvenate in Santa Ana, like I said, they were running, they were getting the same numbers, but because of the bad targeting, it was, they were throwing money down a hole. They really were right. And we just came in, got them the same number of leads, but got them better quality. It's, it, it's key. It's key, uh, especially for someone like the for our first client doesn't have that big of an operation. One person answering the phone, following up phone calls. You think 233 leads might be too much. But if there is a pattern, you understand, OK, I've got to get through five, six, seven. And I know that eighth one, that ninth and tenth are going to sign. Then it's really not that tough. You understand, OK, this is where we're at. And it's consistent. It's the consistency is what's the point I'm trying to get at here. But no matter across the board, land lead ads, landing pages, California, Lexington, Florida. We're seeing it all over the country. Right. And, and the, it, there's two sides of the coin, right? So now this person's got 233 pieces of data that can be used for down the road, right? Because it's all going into our profit engine system and that we could use this. Maybe they're not ready now, but they're ready three months from now. And we can re-energize that conversation, you know, in a couple of months with some retargeting and a re-engagement of the database by just continuing to sort of hit these people every 30 days with, hey, do you know, blah, blah, blah. Where on the other side, um, with the, with the ones that have landing pages, although they convert higher, you just don't get as many pieces of data. So the, there's a trade-off in every scenario, but they're both, you know, brilliantly well done, you know? And so the concept is you're going to have a lot of data and get a lot of leads and get a limited conversion rate, but you still will end up at an 11 to one return on your investment, similar to what you'd find on the landing page ones that typically, as we all experience, you know, they're just more quality customers because they've had to go to a second step to qualify themselves. So, you know, these are timing yeah. factors. If you have the time, you know, you can qualify all those little leads or you can go off to the landing page and qualify just more intense people. And I, I got to say this, this is the first product in how many years we've been doing MedSpas over a decade now, Matt. Yeah. OK, this is the first product that I've actually gone to other MedSpas that are not doing it yet and have strongly suggested it right yeah. at most men's spots have the same same you know laser hair and cool sculpting and botox that's fine but we i we've never done a product where i'm going holy wow <laughs> so i'm yeah. going to all the other med spots go are you available is this available in your state get it now <laughs> right because you just went through all the numbers 13 to 1 15 to 1 return i mean that's insane yeah. for and, and yeah. that's that's something that I think people don't realize because it's, it's hard to determine that when they bring the patient in to see the actual numbers, but we're seeing yeah. that the, the 
clients themselves are lasting between six to eight months on the product. Yep. That's and, and just the beginning, which is that that doesn't mean that they stop going to the practice. They could do other things and continue on some other service or even better, they can do something in addition to the semaglutide, which is a lot of the people that we're thinking about, whether they're doing peptides or testosterone or in, in the injectable world, or they're selling them another service in their med spa that could be related to anything. Like well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you right now what the the uh, complementary med spa service to this is the skin tightening, tightening and the body contouring. And a lot of these places are offering that in that sixth, seventh, eighth month when the weight has really, really dropped. It's a key service to, you know, you you weighed, you were overweight, you know, you lost a hundred pounds. That skin just doesn't go away. A lot of it kind of flabs. So they're they're they are upselling, you know, and a lot of these skin tightening services, they're not, you know, cheap. <laughs> they right. have a they they have great margins. So you, you go from Booking them for one service has terrific margins, and it it segues right into the next one, and the patient really, you know, is not going to sit there with flabby skin. They're going to have to do it, and it, it, it's a real easy, easy upsell. So, yeah, this this is a powerhouse. Semiglutide is a powerhouse right now. Yeah. All right, great talking, James. I'll let you get on to your weekend, and let's uh, come back and do another one of these maybe in a couple of weeks, and let's go and we'll we'll well as we bring on about two customers per day. Um, we'll probably have so many different data points that we'll start to segment them into different audience groups where we can start to see like what variants really will help somebody make better decisions on what ads to run. But I, I like the the lead ad versus the the regular sort of landing page story now because it really gives you sort of like a panoply of different solutions for different folks based off of like what they want. They want lots of data and lots of names and we'll we'll get them as many as they can possibly handle. And if yeah. they want more conversions and less work on the front desk, then we can do that with a landing page. So it's great for everybody. All right. Thanks, Matt. Bye.